The U.S. had a huge problem in the 1950s, and that was air defense of the continent. During World War II, air defense was done in an analog fashion and without the use of computers, but with faster adversary aircraft, it demanded an automated system. Now, some of the elements of that system, the technology really didn't exist in the 1950s, at least until it was developed by the U.S. Air Force and the Lincoln Laboratory with MIT. That system was called the SAGE system for semi-automatic ground environment. And this was a computerized air defense system that saw many of the firsts in the history of computers. For instance, SAGE used magnetic core memory, cathode ray tubes, or basically TVs. There was input output with light guns and keyboards. And because of the SAGE system, we really see the creation of the art of computer programming because the SAGE system demanded about 500,000 lines of code to be written. So when we're using our computers today, know that it's in part because of the Air Force's SAGE system that we enjoy that technology today. Now the SAGE system was so advanced that in the 1960s, the SAGE system could direct an F-106, which I have behind me, could direct the aircraft remotely, pilot could take their hands off the controls, fly it from its airfield to an intercept of an adversary bomber, release the missiles, turn the aircraft back and fly it back to its base. In fact, the pilot would only have to take the aircraft off and land it. And this technology existed more than 50 years ago in the 1960s.